Mwapopi through his company Wanakaru Investments allegedly received a payment of 4.2 million dollars to supply dried fish to fishing parastate or fish co without ever doing the job. In his testimony Mwapopi denied not having delivered the goods saying no such complaint exists from Fishco. Fishco have never came back to me to say that they did not get their product. They only told me that, thank you, Mr. Mwapopi, we got our product. I think that was in August. We got our product. So they picked up the product themselves. And uh, on top of that, I have given my delivery notes to Nikki that... Uh, in any case, if people are picking up their, if they pick up their product, they should uh, 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 sign my delivery notes. That's for my future reference. That product indeed were delivered. So the, the, the delivery note was delivered back to me, signed by Fishco. Upon inquiry from Judge Witele, he confessed that he did not personally see the goods delivered from his company to Fishco. He is accused of being part of a syndicate which swindled proceeds from fishing quotas to an Icelandic fishing company summary for personal gain. Mwapopi pledged $62,000 for bail to mobilize resources to defend himself adequately. Today here, the state have increased their, their effort even to experience prosecutor are here for this bail. They are showing the seriousness of this case in terms of them defending, but... Defending what? Approving their case, to say that. Now, me, Mwapopi, being the trial waiting inmate, coming to defend myself, I think the damage will be very huge because I, I don't have the, the same resources that the state have. His co-accused, former Fishco CEO Magni Punya and Deputy Director of Rural Services in the Oshodonjupa Regional Council, Otniel Chidofunya, have previously appeared in the witness dock, also pleading for bail. They both pled not guilty to a myriad of allegations involving fraud, money laundering and racketeering. Kaipa Herwekanji, NBC News. Vendo